Hey y'all, it's Kristen. Okay, so I have some ephemera storage things to show you and also a haul, so let's get started. All right, so the people from Unikeep uh, contacted me and wanted me to show some of their binders and things for ephemera storage. Thank you, Celeste. I will put their link and everything down in the description box. These are binders. This is a mini one. They have uh, different kinds of rings, like the rings are, I think, half an inch, an inch, and a inch and a half. The rings, like th these rings, are plastic, and then I think on this one, for this big one, uh, yeah, they're the metal rings. But let me show you this little one first. I wrote down some of the stuff that I needed to say. <laughs> Okay, so they have little uh, sheet protectors inside them, the pockets. They have all different kinds of pockets, like for trading cards, recipe cards, uh, stamps, movie ticket stubs, concert tickets, guitar picks, uh, video games, all kinds of things. So these that she sent me, like, you can put stamps in these. And this is, like I said, just the mini. I'll show you the big one in just a minute. And then I think, yeah, I put some of my playing cards that I've got at the shop in some of them. So I think this is like the trading card size. And I think there's some back here. Yeah, this is a full, like, let me show you like this. So this is a full sheet. They're all, like I said, there's all different sizes. And the link will be down there for you guys to see. But I like how... I wasn't sure if I was going to like these, but I do like how they're, it's all enclosed. So, whatever you put in there, it's not going to get jacked up, and they're stackable. This one, the binders um, come in legal, which I don't have. This is a standard size, and then, of course, that one was the mini one. They also have things like garden planners, um, baby planners, baby memory books, uh, pregnancy planners. I don't know. I wrote down, let's see, wedding planners, vacation, fitness, all kinds of things. So, you guys need to go check it out. This is the bigger one. Um, the first few sheet protectors are the full size, like that. And then we have, I just, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to put in these, and I'm still not sure if, you know, I may change up what I put in these protectors. But I decided to put some of my old envelopes and things, the ones that I have in the shop, or some of the ones I have in the shop. This size, I don't know what size this is. I think it's the 5x7 photo size is what she sent me. And then, of course, I've got the trading card size. I just decided to put some of my playing cards in there. So anyway, go over the, and check them out. Like I said, the link will be down in the description box. And thank you so much, Celeste. Okay, staying with the whole ephemera storage thing, I love these, and a lot of times you can't find them. I'm not exactly sure why. These are Cropper Hopper. Uh, this is a variety pack. I think what I wasn't able to find before was just the um, these things right here. I'm not sure if you can see what I'm talking about here. Let me get one that's full so I can show you what's going on. Okay, so these are what I'm talking about here. Can you see... They have pockets in the front, like this is a 6x12 on the bottom right here. And then, I don't know what size it is. It looks like about a 5x7. And then the little pocket here. Behind those pockets right there, you can hold, it holds up to 12x12. 12 12. Back, back, back behind here. And I just put my 6x12 uh, chipboard stickers in there. So yeah, I like these. Um, I would like them better if they had a flap or something over the top to keep everything in. But... It's fine, and I keep them stored uh, up and down like that. So, like I said, these are this. Let me show the box again really good. Cropper Hopper. This is a variety pack. And in here is a, a holder. like a, It looks like a magazine holder type thing. And then you have three. No, you have two of the holders these things that I like really well and then these are flat which I like these too because they'll hold 12 by 12 um, 
loose sheets of scrapbook paper. So there are three of those in there. I think I got those at scrapbook.com, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, next thing. Okay, and the last thing as far as ephemera storage that I was going to show you that I got, um, I think I got this at Hobby Lobby. It was about 5 or $6, I think. But it's a nice size, just plastic box with roses on it. And I put some of my um, embroidery that I just bought that I showed in the last haul in there. Okay, no, I have one more thing that's ephemera storage. Just a second. Okay, this is the last thing I want to show you. I've shown these before. These are the um, Latchmate. Where's the ticket? Oh, that doesn't say. Yes, it does. It's a Latchmate. Um, I don't know. Box with the tray on top. <laughs> I don't know. I like these. I keep a lot of stuff in these little boxes. I had two and now I have four. I got this size which is, what size is this? The 14.5 quart. And then I got this huge size which you can't even see this. Look how big that is. This one and it is 26, 26 quart. I got these at Michael's. Okay, next thing. All right, so I got some new collections from scrapbook.com and a cherry on top. This first one is Cartabella Farmhouse Market. Aren't those pretty? I'm going to hold this up and hopefully you can see. Those are the papers. Um, this is a collection that comes with the, uh, these are the stickers on the back. I think you can see all of those. And then I got, let me move this over. This is also farmhouse market. So I got the frames and uh, tags, frames and tags, and then the ephemera. I'll show the backs as best I can. Oh, I forgot about these. Okay, you have to understand, this. Uh, these hauls that I've been showing, the last one and this one, are over like, I don't know, three months or whatever. But these are stamps. This first one's Bow Bunny. Isn't that pretty? I for totally forgot that I bought this. So it's like vintage seed things or, I don't know, they're like advertisements. And then this one, this would be a great background stamp. This is 49 in market. Isn't that pretty? All right. And then this was a free item that you got a while back. These are um, Delusions paint pens. Dilusions paint pens, white and black. There you go. I haven't tried those out, so I have no idea if they're any good. Okay, so the next collection that I got is Bow Bunny um, Botanical Journal Collection. Um, this was not easy. I had to like, I think I got part of this at a cherry on top and then part of it at scrapbook.com. But I love these papers. Oh, hang on. I love these papers so very much. I love Bow Bunny, period. So let me flip through this right quick. That's just a blue. Oh, look at those. Can you see that? This would be very nice for a, I love that, for a um, garden journal. I'm not going to turn it. You can kind of see it sideways. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, very pretty. Okay, and then it just repeats. All right, and with that, I also got this. These are the cardstock or the chipboard stickers. 
and then the um well you can't hardly see them because i have writing on the back these are the layered chipboard stickers and then this is the ephemera you can't really see them i'll try to show you best i can because i don't want to take it out it's going to take way too long all right uh, the next collection is this. I really like this one, too. I talked about this collection. I was trying to remember the name of it. Um, I don't know. In a haul that I did a while back. This is Simple Stories of Vintage Garden District. So, let me show you the papers. Aren't those fantastic? Oh, I think there's more. These are different. Yeah, I like this a lot. And then, of course, this comes with the sticker sheet on the back. And then I got the, this is some of the ephemera. And this is a 4x6 sticker book. It kind of shows it on the back, but I think they're too small. Let me see if I can show it like this. There's words. Butterflies, letters. I don't really do the letters. Yeah, those are cute. Okay. And then the last one, I think this is my favorite. Well, actually, I don't know. I, but I really do like, I love the colors in this one. This is Pink Paisley, Pink Paisley, Paige Evans, Bloom Street. So I'm going to, yeah. I was making sure the tape was off. I'm going to show you this. Oh, oh! I thought that was a hair. Look at that. I love the colors. That says L-O-V-E. I'm going to do a journal just with these colors. Look at that. So nice. Love the umbrellas. Okay, I think it's starting over again. Yeah. And then I got the 6x12 sticker sheet. I love the boots. And here's another one. Okay. Uh, some butterflies. I just thought they were pretty. And then the ephemera. There's lots of ephemera in here. How many? It says 40 pieces, but I would think there's a lot more than that. Okay, whatever. I'm going to show you the back. Okay. Next thing. Okay, so remember when I showed you guys this um, paper that I got from Etsy? I think it's Norman Printery. I'm not sure. I'll link them down in the description box. But anyway, I told you about the, bot the botanical paper that I was thinking about getting. Well, I did get it. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? like vintage botanical like I said I don't remember what size oh hang on let me see this is the place right there Norman's printery does it say okay there are 12 sheets in this roll but it doesn't say what size the sheets are so I'll link them down in the description box I love this paper it's like a newsprint type of paper okay next thing I got some more playing cards but these are really cute I thought they would be good for baby journals I was at TJ Maxx the other day and I got some notepads so I got this one that one I thought that was cute and then this one I love that I thought it would this would go really well with that um, farmers market collection that I got okay also on eBay 
I got these Needlecraft magazines. Look at these. Aren't they fabulous? Um, this one's 1927. That's 26. I'll flip through a little bit um, in just a minute. I'll, I'm not going to... If you guys want me to do like a flip through, like a full flip through of these, I'll have to do a separate um, thing. But you can let me know down in the comments if you want me to. That's October. Look at that. Isn't that fabulous? I love the fronts of these. Or I like the whole thing, actually. Yeah. All of these are from the 1920s. And let me just show you the inside of one. Just a little bit. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. My front. Yes. Look at that. They have really good um, advertisements in here, too. Look at that. Campbell's. Okay. Yeah, these are really nice. This one, look at that advertisement on the back. Do they all have two-tone like that one was a two-toned um like orange and black no look at that these will do um i'm gonna put some of these some of the pages of these in my sewing journal that i'm going to do okay next thing all right i've got some old books and this cheesecloth right here i mean no this is muslin i also have cheesecloth over there that i got at amazon this is from amazon as well i will leave a link down in the description box it's a big piece that's where i buy all my muslin um some of the books i got this is a ladies home journal treasury book and let's look at the date 1956 that's what it looks like I just liked uh, the pages there's some illustrations in here yeah those are cute Aren't those pretty? Okay, so I got that book. Um, I also got some more of these cigarette cards. I love these longer ones. These are the Typhoo uh, cigarette cards. I don't remember what uh, year this was. I'm thinking it's from the 20s. But I don't... 20s or 30s. I don't remember. Does it say? No. Okay. These, I don't remember if I showed. I don't think that I did. Uh, you know, I do the baby... I do baby journals quite a bit. And so, I got this one. These are little golden books. We Help Daddy. This one, which I'm not happy about that right there, but I can cover that up. Hansel and Gretel. These came in a lot on eBay. Okay. And then this book right here. What is this? And why did I buy it? Oh, yeah, the whole front cover is coming off of here. Oh, this is uh, Harper's New Monthly Magazine book. I got on a magazine book kick. As a matter of fact, I was, there were some, I think it was Ladies Home Journal or something. Anyway, the magazine came in book form, and it was the actual, it was like three issues of the magazine. I love those so much, but they, uh, I tried to bid on some, and the price went way up there. This this book is from 1889. Now, I remember why I got this book now. Yeah. Look at that. This is the Winter Palace. I like the paper in these books, too.
Okay, so we got that book. Yeah, that totally fell apart. And then this book is Standard Postage, postage Stamp Catalog. I got the really tongue-tied trying to say that one. This one's from 1968. I just like the pages in here with the stamps and everything. I've seen pages like this before, like in ephemera kits and stuff that I've gotten. And so I just decided to get me a book. The paper is a very thin, um, almost kind of like Bible pages, almost, but I really like them. So I'll be using those in journals as well. All right, I'm going to stop it right here. I've got a few more things to show, like some junk journal kits that I've gotten. Uh, one's from Renee over at GT Designs. Hi, Renee. I'm going to show that one and another something else that I got, but I'm going to do that in a separate video. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching.